Zimbabwe achieved independence on April 18, 1980. It marked the end of a long and brutal struggle against white minority rule in Rhodesia. There was a sense of optimism and hope in the air. The nation, rich in resources and potential, looked forward to a brighter future. Robert Mugabe, the leader of the Zimbabwe African National Union, or ZANU, emerged from the liberation struggle as a hero. He became the country's first prime minister. Mugabe promised reconciliation, unity and prosperity for all Zimbabweans. The early years of Mugabe's rule were marked by progress in education and healthcare. The government invested heavily in social programs. There was a genuine effort to uplift the lives of black Zimbabweans who had suffered under colonial rule. However, this initial period of hope and progress was short-lived. Mugabe's government soon began to show signs of authoritarianism. Following Mugabe's ouster, Emerson Manangagwa, a longtime Mugabe ally and former vice president, assumed the presidency. Manangagwa promised a new era for Zimbabwe, pledging to revive the economy, attract foreign investment and uphold human rights. However, four years into his rule, many of these promises remain unfulfilled. While there have been some tentative steps towards political and economic reforms, Menangagwa's government has shown a worrying tendency to resort to the same authoritarian tactics that characterized Mugabe's rule. The crackdown on protests, the silencing of dissenting voices, and the continued presence of corrupt officials in positions of power raise concerns about the government's commitment to genuine change. The hopes for a democratic and prosperous Zimbabwe remain elusive. The nation continues to grapple with the legacy of Mugabe's rule, a stark reminder of the challenges that lie ahead in rebuilding a nation shattered by decades of authoritarianism and economic mismanagement. Only time will tell if Menangagwa's Zimbabwe will truly represent a break from the past or merely a continuation of the same. <laughs>